And welcome back. Well, you've heard the expression, less is more. Well, our next guest is putting that to the test. Allison Sherwood is an interactive lifestyle producer and blogger for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel Fresh. And right now she's completed about two weeks of her six-week <laughs> tiny closet challenge. Her wardrobe, get this, is limited to 33 items, including shoes, Clo uh, clothing, jewelry, and accessories. That includes purses, too, which it's I think nuts. is absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Great to have you on the show. And we're standing it. in your closet, yeah. basically, right here. The only thing missing, we'll say, are two pair of shorts. Otherwise, everything is here, right? Yep, Including what it. you're wearing. This, is, Yep, I'm wearing part of my closet, and this is everything. What was your inspiration for doing this? Well, I started reading about minimalist wardrobe challenges and just the simplicity of it really appealed to me. And my goal is to make life easier, make it less stressful to get dressed in the morning. When you have fewer options, then it's easier to pick out something. And it's going to be something that you like and that fits you well when you're intentionally choosing items for such a small wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's been great so far. I've really enjoyed it. And I know a lot of, I have a lot of readers who are doing it along with me, and some of them say they want to do it so they stop shopping, stop spending right. so much money, focus on just being content with what they have. Mm -hmm. Or on yeah. the flip side, even just figuring out what's essential in my wardrobe mm -hmm. and what should I invest in, what staple pieces should I have that I'm going to get a lot of use out of and you know quality over quantity that's a great point you know finding out what do I tend to gravitate towards and then finding things like that when you replace a, an old item you know I think that's a great point what was your closet like before were you always kind of minimalist or did you find that you had a lot of stuff in your closet well before I started the challenge I counted everything in my closet you did 177 <laughs> pieces of clothing wow and I don't I don't consider myself a big shopper I don't really like to shop but I like a good deal so I found a lot of clearance items mm -hmm. that you know might not fit me perfectly or might not be something that I could wear every day but I bought it because it was a good deal or I might want to wear it once in a while um, I know a lot of people have their clothes that you know they might have lost a bunch of weight or gained a few pounds and a lot of their stuff just doesn't fit them so that makes mm -hmm. it a lot harder to get dressed when you're wading through clothes that that you can't even wear yeah mm -hmm. how did you choose the items that you came down to well, I started by just kind of doing a quick pull through my closet and pulled out all the things that I know that I wear a lot and that I like. And I started with those. And then as I was narrowing it down, I tried to think about um, my goal was to have each item match with three different mm -hmm. other items in my wardrobe. OK, so each each item you chose, you wanted it to go with three other items. So you've got like a basic gray T-shirt as an example. Yeah. And so I just took a couple hours and I just tried everything on and I tried you know, different combinations. And that was actually kind of fun, um, trying new combinations and getting creative with different accessories. And um, that led me to choosing those those dresses, just, you know, the basic gray, because you can layer different tops well, over them. I was going to say that's one of the suggestions I read was limit your colors. And it looks like you have a lot of gray in your wardrobe. Yeah, and that kind of just naturally came about when I was looking through what I like to wear. Mm -hmm. I found, you know, greens and grays. And so, yeah, when you can mix and match, that makes it feel like there's a lot more variety, even with so few items. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you've got a standard um, button down. I read, I read an article about a woman who pared it down to 10 items in her closet, and she had two collared shirts was something that she mm -hmm. had in there. So two button downs. Yeah. Layerable, I can imagine, gives you a lot of options, too. Yeah, because mm -hmm. a button down isn't even something that I normally think that I really love, but you can put it over a dress, over a T-shirt, just wear it on its own. There's a lot of variety, even just with that one shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've got a couple easy dresses to wear for summer. Yep. What have you learned outside of some of the things you said earlier? Because I wonder as you're going through this, you're how many weeks in? A little over two weeks in. Out of? Out of six weeks. So have you gotten up any morning yet and said, I just don't want to wear that? I haven't, actually. It's... Um, yeah, it's been amazing. There's been a few times when I've looked into my closet and kind of panicked seeing so few things <laughs> hanging there. But then once you think, okay, I only need one outfit to wear today, mm -hmm. then it becomes a lot easier. And, and these are all my favorite things and things that I enjoy wearing. So, Do you worry about being seen in the same thing a lot, either at work or with friends right. or, or whatever it is? Yeah, I think that's a fear that a lot of us have, that people are going to remember what we're wearing and think we're weird for wearing it again a week later, but I don't think 
people really notice specifics about what you're wearing. They might, you know, comment on something, but I think that's a way to kind of connect with people, not like to judge what they're wearing. Right. Um, and I've learned that it's okay to wear the same outfit twice in one week. Like I'll wear the same dress that I wore to church to work the next day because mm -hmm. no one different crowd yeah no one's gonna know mm -hmm. <laughs> different crowd I don't go to church with the people I work with <laughs> depends on where you live yeah, you know exactly. people have yeah. proximity <laughs> yeah it's great I love this shoes so will be can... tough for people though so I think that's a that's that's yeah a tough but you've one. narrowed yeah. it down to to four pair the pair that you're wearing uh, a cute pair of um, sort of like not flip flops but sandals and then a pair of more casual shoes and then those that could probably be dressy or casual. Casual. Yeah, that's that was, great. That was tough, but I got it down. <laughs> I bet. Good for you. And people can follow your progress or take the challenge right along with you, which a lot of readers have already done. It's JS Online Fresh. So the challenge is June 1st through July 12th, and you can follow Allison at jsonline.com slash tinycloset. Great Love to it. have you here. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Still